Okay, hello Lani. Um, I just decided to uh, do a sketch up, just like a sort of a drawing. Uh, if you decide to go ahead with the land filling uh, project uh, uh, behind this bank here, so you you know basically you've uh, you've you, I welcome your your decision to make this land useful to you because you know you're paying rates for it and it's quite a huge land that is just lying to waste. You know, um, you know you see. Uh, let me just um here we go just like uh here before uh this this uh this is google maps so it was you know before you i think uh, it was such a uh the big hole that, that you filled up so you know your land stretches down to you know all this point here somewhere all this point here i think this is probably the boundary line. and at the moment the bank ends here so you've got about 20 meters to get down here all right and uh i think you have about 33 meters to this point okay so this is what i have here on this uh, sketch up all right so we have 33 and uh that's a, that's a length and uh width 20 and now the height is more optional but um are we looking at about five and a half uh just to get it uh, if we, you know if we go lower than five and a half it's gonna be probably gonna be very low you know it's gonna be way down all right so if we elevate it to five and a half meters at least then um it's gonna be i, I would recommend that okay so yeah you know what i would sort of um, um the most important thing about uh you know this uh, presentation is actually to make you realize the size of this project Otherwise, you know, we've been discussing it verbally. We actually sort of didn't take enough time uh, to really think about it, taking all the um, technical aspects of the project before even we, we start. So that's what I, uh, I I have in this presentation. So uh, first of all, we need to. Uh, uh, this is about level uh, with the house that aligned with the uh, with the house, and uh, you requested that you probably gonna. We need to maybe. Uh, slightly lower in part of it because you know it's blocking you the view you can't see the view river and you want to maximize the view uh, when you're sitting inside the house so i think if we trim it at least a meter down you might be able to see at uh, the bank or uh, the river okay because you know the moment you can only see the golf course across uh, so um, i think if we uh, i would recommend a meter and then we are gonna be seeing that you know if we trim it like a meter uh, with a bobcat or a bulldozer or tlb uh, we might then be able to see whether we should keep going down or, or we need to then um, okay and um, yeah secondly is um, okay so basically yeah uh, this is the presentation it's just a cross section of your land this is uh, like your land this is all your portion of 31 H my crescent okay so you know um, at the moment you know uh, land in Deben is it's increasingly becoming very scarce you know uh, so this land here, you, it, you know, if you refill it up, uh, it's going to be very useful to you because at the moment, the way it is, you can't basically do anything. So if you refill it up now, you then can be able to do some long-term uh, project. You could build uh, a jungle gym. You could build like a, a shed. Um, maybe, for example, you, for when Kurinia starts, you know, you can slaughter the sheep uh, and uh, even the cow in the backyard. You know, you can even put an awning, uh, you can uh, make it like a factory or I mean, basically anything. You can put an awning for the trucks or, or maybe something, you know, it's all in. You can do anything um, that is going to be useful to you. Uh, so, yeah, you can even build a house, you know, you can open up a driveway, you know. So during uh, this landing feeling, you are going to open up a driveway that, you know, uh, for the TLB and trucks, maybe they can even drive uh, to access this side here. Okay, so yeah, so that's what I decided to you know present with the sketch up with the drawing. So uh, I'm just gonna leave the this uh, and you know jump to uh, so pro, you know just to this is the side we are retaining at the moment. Okay, this is the side we are retaining at the moment, and um, okay, so yeah, we've got probably gonna have three levels. Okay, so now let's just jump into the the calculations to see the volume and uh, to understand to comprehend. <coughs> sorry, excuse me, the size of this project, <coughs> because otherwise, you, you know, you, you need to be in well informed. Once we start, we wouldn't want to stop. 
<laughs> gave some arguments. Uh, we still building a retaining wall. We're not done yet, and uh, so we need to know uh, budget wise that uh, you know uh, you know how much are we looking at here. So okay, if we with the aid of all the calculations of the volume of this aid that you're gonna need, uh, the trucks uh, that are gonna be coming, the duration, and. Um, you know so that should help us to sort of you know have enough information in this pre-construction or in this uh time uh, in moment okay so we have our dimensions 33 20 that's a width height five and a half so now with that information we'll be able to find out uh the volume that we need uh for to raise the land to uh the desired height okay so with that 33 is length multiplied by width i mean the, uh, 20 is width and with a height of 5.5 we should get 3630 uh tons that's quite a lot okay we you know we ca if we say a, a thousand we might fill up to a certain height maybe a third of 5.58 uh, meters if we say 2000 cubes we might get to a two thirds of um you know uh five and a half uh, meters of which it's gonna be very way down you know it's gonna be very low uh, so I would recommend you know five and a half going upwards, uh, maybe to six, uh, you know, uh, meters. Okay, because you know we it's, it's very low. We we are starting from a lowest point. So um, I think uh, six, uh, six and uh, it's six meters or five and a half something in between. Uh, we should be all right. And then let's look at about how long is this gonna take. If we are gonna need about three thousand six hundred thirty tons of sand uh, brought by trucks and uh it's, it's you know it's a big job so we're looking at about uh, if we get six trucks in a day and each uh, they uh, make uh, eight trips uh so in a day we might bring about uh, maybe um uh 500 tons in a day that is actually quite impressive and it's gonna be very fast so now we need to take into consideration the duration how long is it gonna take to bring all oh, 3630 cubes uh, to elevate the land so now we say okay if we can bring 480 tons in a day so desired amount is 3600 so this is our formula so it will take about seven days seven and a half days to fill up okay so now i'm not sure about the the tlb now if we're gonna need it for seven days it's gonna be a lot of money so the decision about the budget is entirely up to you uh but then also the platform size okay um well i just wanted to realize that you know you are gonna get um um 660 square meters of a flat land after if we do the fill land filling uh so now lani uh you're gonna have to you know uh c come up with other ways if you uh to find to find this project uh if you say it has to happen during this time we are building the retaining wall okay uh so um, it's entirely up to you uh another thing is i wanted to also you know uh emphasize another uh you know another uh, 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 um yeah you see now we uh this was what excuse me this was when uh, when we uh i wanted to illustrate you know the caving because now uh if we haven't been caving we wouldn't have been able to sort of we could have been gone uh, way out and you could have all this could have been in the air all this so now what we've done is uh, with the caves that we are forming uh we are going this way if you haven't been uh, if we didn't do that now you know we, uh, we could have been um you know you could have uh there's gonna be there would have been a lot of land that you would have lost so i'm glad that you know with the design of the wall with its caves otherwise you know we are starting from a lowest point going up so they can't line up if you are leaning if you're leaning into the bank at 70 degrees they can't line up we can't, it can't be if it's straight it can be straight just like this it's easy just like how we were doing it from the beginning right after the cave we go straight like this but imagine right because you know you can't build there's no structure that can be built from a highest point going uh, down on a, on a slope wherever all over the world all the houses built on a slope any structure building on a slope you can start building from a lowest point you can't build from uh the top point going down here yeah, that you can it's, it's just not uh possible you know and otherwise that structure is gonna be uh, not gonna be strong you know uh, it's not gonna be um uh you know you can't just build it it's not easy to make it actually sort of uh build that way okay all right um 
uh yeah I'm, i've got 10 minutes of recording time um, it's probably time up so i think i've presented all that is actually uh, important uh, with regard to this uh land feeding uh to